Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now my channel was never meant to have like fitness kind of stuff on it, but I just thought because you know I'm doing it and it's content, you know, why not just film me doing some postpartum workouts? But today's video it's not gonna be fitness because I'm not really technically working out, but I do want to do some stretches and some core exercises. So yeah, that's the plan today. I will post the link in my description box for the site that I'm using. They just put a sample workout on their website, so I'm just doing the workouts that they have on there. Um, a little bit of background information. I don't think I have diastasis recti, I think it's what it's called. I don't have DR from my pregnancy. Uh, when I went for my six week appointment, I didn't have too crazy ab separation. I had like a little bit right below my belly button, but the doctor said it was fine. So I just wanted to start strengthening my core again. I was fairly active before I got pregnant. When COVID hit in February, 2020, um, I got pregnant two months after that. And February is when I kind of stopped working out just because COVID shut everything down and I wasn't really feeling like going in and working out. I did gain, I wanna say 10 pounds after pregnancy, or I had, I didn't gain 10 pounds, but um, I did have 10 pounds left after I lost all the other weight. So I was sitting at 161, and then I recently just went to the doctor and I was 165, so I think I gained four pounds. So I have about, 14-ish pounds that I want to lose. I was 150 with muscle and then I lost five pounds of muscle. So before pregnancy, I was sitting at 145. Um, so even if I got down to 150, I wouldn't be mad. Let me just mention that I was having like some bladder, not issues, but when I would go pee and go to stop peeing, um, I was having a little bit of discomfort and not pain, but it was really uncomfortable. Um, and what what baby after i started because i started stretching i want to say this week after i stretched out my hips and following that oh you got the hiccup following that hip stretch um i noticed that the discomfort that i had when i would go pee and try to stop myself it's not there as bad as it was and I barely feel it now. That's why I've been trying to stretch a little bit more instead of just going straight into working out. I do have really tight calves as well. I think I have a knot in my calf. So I've just been trying to stretch a little bit more. Just before I actually start working out again, I did do a workout two days ago and my body is still really sore. So um, I just, I wanna focus on stretching because my body's really tight and stretching seems to be helping. If I do end up posting more fitness, I will show you guys my body and just the progress because this is what I'm working with right now.
Okay guys, so that was my mini 20, 30 minute workout. Usually when I would do stuff like this, well, it's kind of hot in here, but usually when I would do a little workout like this, I would not be sweating like this. But uh, I'm hot. My daughter just took a dump and it stinks. So I'm gonna go change her, finish feeding her, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Like I said, my plan wasn't really to have fitness on my channel, but since it's related to my pregnancy and postpartum, I figured that I would just film myself getting back to my old regular self. If you guys haven't already, please make sure that you, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna end that, keep that. I forgot that I had a workout going. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe. Show my video some love, like the video, leave a comment, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.